However much he loved me, I can easily understand his position. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone in London is buzzing with rumors, and no matter what happens, we've given them something to talk about. I don't like it, Joe. I don't like it the least bit. You're getting yourself all worked up. I'm not nothing. getting myself worked up. I'm understandably concerned about a situation that shouldn't exist. Honey, she says right here that she has no intention of even thinking of marrying this guy. Then why is she seeing so much of him? Can't you read between the lines? The only thing I see between the lines are blank spaces. I wish you never had her posted to England. It's where she wanted to go. She loves England. She loves Billy Hottington. The Navy and Marine Corps Medal has been awarded to Lieutenant John F. Kennedy, son of Joseph P. Kennedy, former ambassador to Great Britain for extremely heroic conduct. When his PT boat was cut in half and sunk by a Japanese destroyer, the Navy said tonight. And then there's the story of the whole action, which I have a hunch you all know by heart by now. Brother, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Kennedy citation reads as follows. For extremely heroic conduct as commanding officer of motor torpedo boat 109 following the collision and sinking of that vessel in the Pacific War area on August 1st to 2nd. Unmindful of personal danger, Lieutenant Kennedy unhesitatingly braved the difficulties and hazards of darkness to direct rescue operations, swimming many hours to secure aid and food after his crew was ashore. It would be impossible for me to raise my children as Catholic, darling. It's utterly out of the question. It's the only way I could marry you and still stay in the church. It seems absurd that a solution can't be found. Aren't there some sort of dispensations in special cases? Well, there are, I suppose, but I don't know what the conditions are. <sighs> I don't know if they apply to situations like ours, really. Well, there's one way to find out. Daddy knows the Pope. <laughs> Personally. Daddy knows everyone. <laughs> When I was a kid, the Pope stayed with us for a few days in Bronxville. He was just playing old cotton up the jelly bed. We were all at his coronation in 39, the whole family. Except Joe, he was in Spain at the time during the Civil War. Might I suggest that your father have a word with the Vatican at the earliest opportunity? It's too soon for that, love. I have to be very careful. Especially about Mother. Good night. See you in the morning. Last week, the Duchess brought an Anglican priest, Father Talbot is his name, to explain to me what the Cavendish family stood for in the English church. He took the trouble to explain to me the fundamental differences between Anglican and Roman Catholic. I explained that I had been blessed with so many of this world's goods. It would seem rather cheap and weak to give in at the first real crisis in my life. Both the Duchess and Talbot don't want me to give up something. They just hoped that I might find the same thing in the Anglican version of Catholicism. The other day, Joe, Billy, and I went to see Bishop Matthew about possible concessions. It's hard to explain in a letter, but there just aren't any concessions. The church would not marry us, and the result would be that I would be married in a registry office. I could continue to go to church, but not communion. I spoke to Archbishop Spellman at lunch today, and we've worked out a way of reaching the Vatican. But honestly, sweetheart, he doesn't hold out too much hope. For the first time in our lives, I guess being such a well-known family isn't any advantage. 
but I'll bet on your judgment any time. If it comes right down to it and you have to tell everyone else to go jump in the lake, well, so be it. Daddy feels terribly sympathetic, and so do I. And I only wish we could offer some suggestions. I wonder if the next generation will feel as you do, that it is worth sacrificing a life's happiness for all the old family tradition. I hope so. I pray to our Savior that nothing will ever tarnish that, and certainly no Kennedy ever will. I realized that I couldn't bear to let her go without asking her to become my wife. We would both much have preferred a longer engagement, but the realities of war force upon many of us certain urgencies which would not be felt in less perilous times. I do feel very keenly the sacrifices I'm asking Kick to make, but I can't see that she will be doing anything wrong in the eyes of God. I shall never be able to get over my amazing good fortune in being allowed to have Kick as my wife. It still seems incredibly wonderful. Please try not to think too harshly of me. to stay on for a while uh, anyway a month maybe will you be flying I'm sure i'll be flying you picture me behind a desk persuaded some of my crew to uh, stay on for a while too be the only bunch going over our 30 missions damn proud of all of them but why joe when you can be safe and home trying to get rid of me you know better than that I'll tell you why Scuttlebutt says the invasion could be any week now, maybe any day. I didn't sit through all the preliminaries to miss the main event, kiddo. <clears throat> so I'll give Eisenhower uh, one more month to get a show on the road. If nothing happens by then, I'll probably go home. Be disappointed as hell. There's no 